Hey everyone, so I'm back and in today's video we're doing a quick haul. Um, I haven't done one of these videos in a while, mostly because I don't go shopping for a lot of stuff at the same time and I don't really shop as much as, I don't know, it might seem like I do. I actually don't really shop as much as I used to anymore, mostly because I work at home now so I don't need to go out and buy a lot of clothes anymore to go to work um, because I don't have to go into the office. and. The same goes with just about everything else. I don't have to buy as much makeup anymore because I don't go through it as fast and yada yada yada. So I don't do as much shopping as I used to. Another reason is I don't tend to watch a lot of haul videos. They don't interest me as much. But when I do post haul videos, people watch them. So I'm assuming that you guys like to see these kinds of videos. If so, leave a comment below and let me know and I'll keep trying to make them whenever I do go and buy some stuff. And if not, then I'll just stop doing them altogether. So anyway, today's haul is just a collection of a couple of smaller shopping trips. The biggest of which was a shoe haul I had this past weekend because miracle of all miracles, I went to return some shirts for my husband and found a bunch of shoes at Nordstrom Rack and I picked them up because it's hit or miss there. Sometimes you can go and find nothing and sometimes you can go and find lots of things. So I grabbed a couple of new shoes because it's been a while since I've bought shoes. It's actually been a, a really long time considering how often I used to buy shoes before. It's been a couple months. So I treated myself. Okay, so since I talked about the Nordstrom Rack shoes, let's go ahead and start off with that haul. So the first pair of shoes I'm gonna show you are I Instagram. They're these cute little ballet flats with bows on top and gold studs and then they have gold studs on the back and these were on clearance they were on clearance for $49.97 original price was $129.95 so that's a huge deal and they're very soft and they have lots of cushion in the center so they should be comfortable when you walk and they're flats because again like I said I don't get to dress up as much anymore to go into the office and stuff so I wear a lot more casual clothes which ends up you know meaning I wear a lot more flats and then another pair that I got were these Sam Edelman sandals and they are rose gold now these types of sandals I do actually have to get a new pair every year because I wear these a lot. I mean, I bought a pair of um, Dolce Vita ones last year that are just totally destroyed. They're gone out of my closet at this point, so these replace them. When I tend to buy new shoes, I tend to take shoes out of my closet that I don't wear anymore. And these were on sale for $39. And the last pair of shoes I found at Nordstrom Rack, I also Instagram, and it's these really cute pewter smoking shoes with silver studs. I just thought they were so adorable and they're incredibly comfortable. Oh my god, they were so comfortable when I put them on. I had to get them. And this brand is called Ziggy, Ziggy Soho. Never heard of it, but super cozy. And these were on sale for $36.97. Now, I also went to Target that day to pick up, you know, stupid things like toilet paper and paper towels and household like things and I got sucked in because Target does that to me. And you know how you go to Target to go get toilet paper and then you walk out and you're like how'd I end up with all this other stuff that happened. And I also found these really cute pair of exhilaration ballet flats. Now I know what you're probably thinking, um, you just bought a pair of silver shoes, why'd you buy another pair? Well first of all these were just too cute to pass up, they had this really... Ugh, Damn tag. They had this really cute rose gold detail with the studs and they were just so cute I couldn't leave them behind. My sister actually has them in all black and that's where I got the idea to go look and see if Target had them. But Target actually didn't have any black ones left. They only, actually they hardly had any of these left but they did have one pair in silver that I tried on and when I tried them on I was like, oh I really like these, I have to have them. They were only $20, so they were like $19.99, so I thought, you know what, 19 bucks, not a big deal. I'm still deciding whether or not I'm going to keep both of them, but knowing how I am, I probably will. And then another thing I got at Target, you might recognize, I bought three of them. I know it's an exaggeration, you don't have to tell me. But the reason I got three was because they were on sale for 
and I had three $2 off coupons, so I may as well just stock up because I've already gone through my first bottle. I did review this, so I will link that video down below. Um, and I really love it. I gave this a really great review, and it's getting really warm, so I'm switching over to a lighter moisturizer for the warmer months, so I grabbed some because you do kind of go through it a little quickly, so I may as well have some backup since I had that awesome coupon that was about to expire this week. And then the last two things I got at Target were the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara because they had just marked it down to $5.84 and then I had a dollar off coupon and I've pretty much gone through all of my mascara. I'm on my last tube of CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume so I went ahead and got this one because it's one of my staple go-to mascaras. And then I also purchased the new L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. There was a $3 off coupon in the newspaper recently and I think it retails at Target for something like $8, $8.99 or something like that or $8.79. I, I don't have the receipt but it was in the $8 range and I had $3 off so it cost me $5. It basically cost as much as the Voluminous Carbon Black and since I wanted to try it I figured out, I figured I would go ahead and pick it up. Because like I said, I am down to my last tube of mascara and that one is almost is almost on its last leg. It's getting a little dry. And then the last thing I got over the weekend was some beauty products at Walgreens. Three of the products are lipsticks and they're all red lipsticks. And the reason I bought three of them was I have a friend who's looking for a lipstick in kind of like a deeper brick red. But she doesn't want to pay a department store price so I was... I was running around the drugstore trying to see if I could find something for her. And I found these three lipsticks from Rimmel in the Kate Moss collection and I thought they might work for her. And I wanted to show them to her and then I realized while I was looking that all of the Kate Moss lipsticks at Walgreens that week were 50% off, at least at my Walgreens. She said she went to her Walgreens and they weren't on sale so I don't know what that's about. But they're normally like six dollars each so I got them for three dollars I couldn't pass them up because I thought they were such pretty colors so let me swatch it I got number 11 and number 11 is the darkest of the three and that's what it looks like I think that's the closest to the brick red like she was looking for I also got number 111 which is called kiss of life and this one's more of a red so there it is and then the last one I got was number one was number 10. And that is that. So obviously I couldn't swatch these in the store. So from first glance, some of them look like they might work, but to me it looks like number 11 might work might be the closest with the deep like deep deep red that she's looking for. And the other two are more, you know, standard Red. Number 11 or 111 seems to be more orangey compared to number 10 which seems to be a little bit of a truer red and number 11 is their, you know, obviously darker red. And then the last thing I got while I was at T Walgreens was this Sally Hansen Insta, Insta Dry Anti-Chip Top Coat. Now my sister does nails and she actually was the one who told me about this product and she basically said it's very comparable to the Sesh Feet. So if any of you out there are looking for an alternative that you can find easily at the drugstore, you might want to check out the Sally Hansen product. I believe I paid $5.99 for this at the store. So it's maybe a little bit cheaper than Sesh Feet. I think I pay like $7 for Sesh Feet. Maybe $7.99 for Sesh Feet. I don't remember, but this one was $5.99. Okay, so that is it. That was my haul. Hopefully you're all doing well, and until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.